What's up guys, Merry Christmas and welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to one final video with the Aston Martin DB11. I've enjoyed it so much with the weekend before Christmas. I feel that it is my duty to document as much of my experience as possible with this car and this is one video that I've wanted to film. Ever since Aston Martin uploaded a sound teaser of their brand new 5.2 litre twin turbocharged V12 and in this turbocharged era of supercars and the exhaust tone slowly diminishing or slowly getting quieter, Aston Martin have still managed to keep the traditional naturally aspirated V12 sound that is so famous and well loved within the Aston Martin brand. interior of the DB11 about three hours after I filmed the intro you have just seen I have had mega issues with the GoPro however for some reason this weekend anything that has decided to go wrong I don't feel that bad about it because I have such an amazing interior that most of these problems have gone wrong in so I've been stuck in the M25 traffic didn't seem to mind being in such a lovely place. Lots of things were going wrong with this camera, which is very, very frustrating. However, none of that seems to matter because I am about to talk to you guys, or not actually talk that much to you guys, about the sound that this Aston Martin produces. And the best sounds come from Sport Plus. This video is going to span as many minutes as possible of the footage that I have accumulated over the past three days of me driving this car. And this is sort of like a follow-on video from my weekend with the Aston Martin DB11, where I finished off on a Sunday morning drive, taking this car out to some fantastic country roads and putting it through its pace this car is set up for a GT comfortable cruiser and I have to say it is the closest thing to perfection of a GT cruiser however because I'm such a sound nut my passion for exhaust tones come from central London where all I really was fussed about was seeing the supercar and hearing the supercar and most of the time hearing it before I saw it. So when Aston Martin were thinking about going down the twin turbo route, I was incredibly worried for them because Ferrari have attempted it and to be honest, in my opinion, they've failed on the sound front. The Ferraris are all about the drama and the passion which you get from the naturally aspirated V8 and the V12 sounds, the F12, the 458s, the 430s, the 360 Challenge Stradales, the 430s good or is the 488 to me doesn't sound how a Ferrari should sound and I know that they put it down to the turbocharged sounds and McLarens have obviously come on the scene with their twin turbo V8s as well and I'm growing to like their sound they never really had a naturally aspirated sound that was just familiar with everyone apart from the McLaren F1 this video I basically want to try and bring the sound and passion from the Aston Martin DB11 into the camera and into to your guys ears if you haven't heard one of these in the flesh then hopefully this video will do as close to justice as possible without actually hearing it in person I 
I said that I wasn't going to talk too much, but I feel that there's so much that I could talk about. But I feel like Aston Martin could do the talking for me. Let me know if the comment box below, if you have heard a Ferrari California team versus the Ferrari California. rumble that this car gives on the when you're coming down the revs it just goes and I it's very difficult for the camera to pick up but I do hope that some of my camera angles have picked up the sound that you get when you basically coming down the rev range because it is absolutely phenomenal down and we're de-steaming. enjoying it there but I was having to concentrate so hard on not breaking traction in this car in such narrow lanes that yeah I took it easy but now we just go round this roundabout and then back this is the worst idea ever I'm stuck in so much traffic at Heathrow I can only do one tunnel run <laughs> I have to find another way home there's so much fog that like all of the planes are delayed, some of them are cancelled, too many cars. Um, this is not how I intended on signing off from a video that I was looking forward to film so much, but 
I'm stuck here for a while. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you very soon for the next Supercars of London video that probably won't include the DB11. It might do actually, because I filmed other bits with it. So uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Cheers, guys.